Hi, I'm Crystal and this is YWAM Perth's 30th fortnightly news episode. The October quarter has begun and this time around we're running four discipleship training schools and six second level schools. We have 98 students from 21 different nations. And as with every new quarter, we kicked off the school season with registration day. Three. Three, two. Why is it so close to me? Okay, well, it's registration day right now, and you can see people are busy filling up forms everywhere, and they're running all over the place, you know, paying the bills and everything. So. It's pretty cool. I'm lucky I, I was here early, so I got everything finished. <laughs> yep. I think that's all. We did it all. Biogas uses manure to produce methane and acts as an excellent fertilizer to grow crops and feed animals. A team of five just returned from Bentong, Malaysia, where they spent three weeks building a biogas system. They educated pastors, businessmen, and the local indigenous peoples about the benefits of biogas in their communities. So we went to Malaysia and we went to a town called Bentong. And uh, in that town there was a guy who has a farm and he's setting up a, like a demo farm. And so we built a biogas dome. And then next to that's gonna be aquaponics. So biogas is just a natural process that you uh, put into an airtight uh, chamber and uh, like naturally it would occur on the ground if manure was in the ground but we make an airtight chamber to put the manure in and then the manure uh, naturally decomposes and uh, it off puts a methane gas and that methane gas can ca uh, power a generator, it can power lights, it can be used for cooking on a stove um, it can be used to power a hot water service and um, the offshoot, the, once it's decomposed, it's actually an excellent fertiliser that people can put on their crops or feed the pigs or uh, put into aquaponics. The Medical Mission School trains health professionals to use their skills to advance the Kingdom of God. Alongside this school, our healthcare ministry is currently running an orientation to medical missions course. This course consists of three weeks of seminars and three weeks of outreach in a different nation. This year, they're going to Lombok, Indonesia. We have a new course here on the base. It's the Orientation to Medical Missions Seminar. The Orientation to Medical Missions Seminar is a course specifically for medical professionals. Uh, we invite them to come and join us for three weeks of seminars here where we take a look at things like community development, um, cross-cultural skills, biblical worldview and its application in healthcare, and healing the whole person, giving them uh, tools to look at healing more than just someone's body, but also looking at their heart. So we have three weeks here in Perth, and then there are three weeks overseas where they're able to go and have clinics and minister to people in a developing setting with their skills. So we're excited to see more medical professionals released into missions through this, and this is one more way uh, to bring the body of Christ together through healthcare. This course is open to anyone with a healthcare background, so if that's you, be sure to hop on board for the next one. That's it for this episode, but don't go far because as I speak, there's more news in the making. I'm Crystal and you're watching Why Went Perth News. To the whole news team, happy 30th news anniversary. 30th fortnightly news episode. So cheesy. Three, two, one, go. One, go. The October quarter, I didn't breathe. Today is a beautiful day. Ready, ready. So squinty. I'll just wait till he goes. I don't remember what I'm saying. Thank <laughs> you.